Hello, my creative friends. I'm Heather North from heatherscreativeblessings.com. I actually have two cards for you today. They're both clean and simple, and I made them with my teenage boys in mind, cards that they would give to their friends. So I'm starting out here with just a piece of Whisper White card stock and some Distress Ink, Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Squeezed Lemonade. I pick up some ink with my ink blending tool and rub it off on my scrap paper. This makes um, helps prevent getting a big blotchy circle on my card. Instead, I wanted a smooth uh, glow. So it's um, a little bit darker in the center, and then I went out from the center, and again, just a very light touch here. Next, I'm going to pull in a new stamp set. It's from Winnie and Walter. It's called Ring in the Celebration, and this was created for the new Stamp of Approval Young at Heart collection that's being released next week. I think February 3rd is the date set for this release. And this stamp set has several different um, patterned rings that are interchangeable. You can stack them and layer them and stamp them inside each other. You can also use them independently on their own. And then they also have these great little icons. These um, circles were created to go with most of your standard circle punches and dies. So if you have those, these should work within them. But today I'm just creating a close to one layer card. I'm going to work from the inside out. So I'm going to start with the smallest circle. And I just like to, when I'm using the new stamp, stamp it off on my scrap paper just to see how it stamps. And, um, and then I'm going to clean it off with just a baby wipe. These uh, stamps clean up beautifully. They're really nice quality. Next, I'm going to take some Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and I'm going to ink up the middle ring. And this one happens to be words. And there's um, two or three different uh, sentiments in the stamp set that are in the shape of a ring. It's really cool. As you can see, it's fairly easy to line this up because you can see through it. Um, there's no clinginess in the middle. So you don't have to worry about getting ink on your block and transfer it onto your paper. It is even easier if you can stand right above it. I'm kind of at an odd angle but um, so that the camera will fit, but when you get it home, it should be really easy for you to line up. And now I'm gonna take my favorite, favorite ring in this stamp set. And it's just, I don't know, it's just really fun. It's streamers with little lines in them. And I believe that was Tempting Turquoise. Again, that's another Stampin' Up! ink. At this point, you could just stamp your image directly on the center circle. Um, but I really wanted my cupcake to stand out. So I'm stamping it on a piece of Whisper White cardstock. And I'm just using various colors of Stampin' Write marker that I think will go well with the colors I already have on there. And then I'm going to punch them out with my circle punch. Unfortunately, I <laughs> stamp these really too close together. So I'm just going to punch one of them out and then I'll um, see if I like it in the center. I was going to do that pink one because I think I liked it the best, but then I thought, oh, this is going for the guys. You know, my son's not going to send a pink cupcake. And then I thought, well, you know what? They've been invited to girls' parties before and so they might need something. That, and they don't want something that's super, you know, girly, but they might want something that they could give to a girl. So I decided to try it. Um, I just colored in another pink icy, and I'm going to see if I like the blue better or the pink better. And that's the fun thing about card making is experimenting and seeing what you like. And if you're in a hurry, just use the first one because that first one was good enough but I really, really liked the contrast of the second one, so that's what I ended up using. This card was so easy to make, I'll probably make another one, and um, so they'll have one with pink frosting and one with blue frosting. <laughs> I just used a Stampin' Dimensional to um, pop this up in the center, and my first card is done. I'll have a picture at the end that you can see, but for now, let's start on the second card. My Whisper White cardstock is three and three quarters inches by five inches, and I'm going to repeat the same process I did before, but without the sponging. So I stamped the stars in Coastal Cabana. I'm stamping the sentiment in the Tuxedo Black Memento ink, and then instead of the streamer, this time I pulled out some birthday candles for my outer ring. <laughs> they are so stinking cute. Um, and then I'm going to ink this up in Tempting Turquoise. 
Isn't that fun? Oh my gosh. So I could just use the other cupcake that I stamped earlier and I like that. That looks nice. But my son, my younger son, is really into music. So I thought I would use the music notes that come in this set. Um, it also has this line, just a line uh, circle. I'm sorry if I'm not describing it very well. When I stamp it out, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> I'm just layering those two together and then I'll pick them up at once. And then I'm going to stamp it out on my grid mat um, just to make sure that it's going the right direction. I was really nervous, I think, about stamping in the center there. <laughs> but I think that's stinking cute, too. This stamp set is just so much fun. I, I know that I probably sound silly, but I really am having fun with it. I'm going to double mat this with some colored card stock. So the Bermuda Bay layer is going to be um, 4 and 7 eighths by 5 and an eighth. So it's just an eighth of an inch larger than my Whisper White card stock. And then my Pacific Point layer is four by five and a quarter inches. And I'm just adhering it all with some snail adhesive. And that completes my second card. I will have close-ups of these cards and the supply list over on my blog. If you are interested in the stamp of approval, make sure you get yourself on the wait list by going to cpstampofapproval.com. If you like my cards today, I hope that you will give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of the Stamp of Approval release coming next week, be sure you are subscribed to see when it goes live. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you find some time, some time today to get a little bit creative. Bye.